Welcome back to Art News with Mariah, and I have something very interesting for you guys today. It caught my attention and maybe it's gonna catch yours. If we know anything about the 17th century in the UK, or the world in that manner, we know how extremely rare it would be to discover a painting of a black female and a white female sitting in that painting together. And to take that further, how rare it is for them to be of equal status, wearing both clothing and jewelry. But guess what, it was found. And it's so rare that the UK has placed an export ban on it, meaning of course it can't leave the UK because of the rarity. And the decision to place the export ban followed the advice of the RACEWA, which is the reviewing committee of the export of work of arts and objects of cultural interest. Anyway, when I read this, I was jaw dropped. And quite frankly, I understood why they would like to keep it there. At first thought, I was sure they would love to explore the idea of Bridgerton being a reality. But to even lean into that, it was stated by Arts Minister Stephen Parkinson that it is not a portrait of real people as far as we know. And I initially thought to myself, why would he immediately say that? Why was his first thought, oh, there's no way these people are real? My first thought would be to explore the idea of this actually being reality and possibly being erased for no one to find. Or maybe because of the time period, it was prohibited to be documented and this one got through the cracks. In my opinion, there are so many things to explore before we land at the immediate of it's not a portrait of real people. But in moments like this, I have to have dual understanding. Understanding that those that took a look at this to determine where its characteristics were derived from probably know enough and more than me to know that maybe they aren't real humans. But it's crazy to me as a black woman to begin with the idea that it has to be imaginable. In my opinion, this one statement blocks the exploration of what could be reality. Now, in addition to that, it's said that the paintings have certain aspects that were popular for artists at that time period that give a clear lean towards it being satirical which honestly also pushed a button for me, that it's funny and it's satire to place those two next to one another in this manner. I'm not a student of 17th century art in the UK, so all I can have right now is an opinion. I don't know much about the UK and I'm not sure black people sat with equal status, but I'm not sure that they didn't. Just like so many things that black humans have done in history, the idea of royalty, distinguished, capable, or anything in that manner, it was hidden. And maybe this painting wasn't satirical. Maybe it was also hidden. Just, just a thought. I urge you guys to do your own research. The interesting part about art is it does help mark time, which is why I find it necessary for so many artists to tell their stories. And even more important, to make space in this contemporary moment to make sure the stories that we want and need to be told are preserved. We live in an explorative time where the lives of black people and bodies have stricken such an interest, such an interest that I'm sure they would love to keep the painting to study the race and gender identities and ideas behind it, including the patches on the women's faces that were condemned as a center pride. Now, if there's anyone out there that actually wants to buy this painting, just know that the galleries and the institutions in the UK will have until March 9th of 2022 to make a bid for the work. If it does not find a buyer, it could be sold abroad. If you buy it, make sure y'all let me know and make sure y'all chunk me my 10%. All right, guys, I'm out. Until next time, Make sure you like and subscribe if you vibe so that I know to keep these going. Until next time, this is Art News with Mariah.